Rory Top, Rory Top, Rory Top, please introduce yourself for the camera. Uh, ben Riley, uh, Save Ben Riley, Abstract Media, Charlie, Freelance, 30 Hayden, all that shit. Okay, all right, now let's uh let's talk about your name. Like, where did, is this? Is that your real name? Uh, nah, Ben Riley is a it's a it's a double meaning. Uh, so the first meaning it comes from uh it's a a different version of Spider Man. Okay. And uh, his name is Ben Riley. And that's my favorite version of Spider-Man. So I wanted to name... I'm a huge comic dude. So I wanted to name myself after a comic book character. Um, the second meaning, it ties into my actual name. My actual name is Nairi. But um, I used to work this job or whatever. And um, these ladies came in. And uh, they really was fucking with my vibe or whatever. I, it was like a serving job. So... Uh, so the, they are fucking with your vibe as you as a person? Yeah, me as a person. Got I it. was doing a serving job. So I was like serving a bartender and shit. So like... Um, the ladies that came in and they was like, yo, like we could tell like this ain't what you do. Like we could tell there's something more to you outside of this. And I was like, well, yeah, I do music. So they was like, well, can you find your music and stuff like that? So I wrote down, um, like keep in mind, I introduced myself as Nari. So I wrote down like Ben Riley, Abstract Media, da 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 da. And then I handed one of the ladies the sheet of the paper, the, uh, the receipt paper. And she was like, who the fuck is Ben? And I was like, I was like, shit, that's that, that's me, that's my stage name. And she was like, but you just told me your name was Nari. So we went on to this whole tidbit about like Spider Man and shit like that. And she was like, but like, okay, that's cool, but like, Nari's a better name than Ben. And I was like, I appreciate that, but I just prefer to do this. And then she just kept saying like, yo, like that's a beautiful black name. Like I never heard a name like Nari ever in my life. The name is so beautiful, you should embrace it. And you should like, like it's so beautiful, so much so that I would name my child after you. Wow. Like she went hard, she went hard, but it, it resonated with me. And throughout the conversation, she just kept saying like, "Be Nari, be Nari, be Nari." So afterwards, they ended up tipping like two hundred dollars or something. It was a good night for me. Then I went to the crib and I was just thinking about it. I was like, "Damn, she might have a point." Like you know, Ben is like, it's, I feel her, but I was like, I really like Ben, and I was like, "Damn," but I really should embrace like myself a little bit more. So the just Ben in itself, B E N stands for Be Nari. B E and then the N for Nari, short, just put it together. So I just keep it both and make it mean both. So okay, so let's talk about this music. Um, when did you start liking music? Has, has it been all your life or? Uh yeah, all my life. My mom, she uh, she a huge like music person, like hip hop head, oldies and shit. So she used to play like she used to have like old like what is it the tapes. Yeah, the cassette, old, tapes. cassette tapes and yeah, shit. She used to have that. Own, yeah, yeah, nah, you she, go, yeah, you know you what I'm saying? Think about a cassette, yeah. tape? cassette tapes, the eight tracks and all that shit. Yeah. So like, um, but like, she used to have a lot of oldies and like just mixtapes and stuff like that, just burn like CDs, and I was just play it all. Like I knew like a lot of rock him shit when I was like a kid. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, I've been a big hip hop fan since I was like a child. Okay, so when did you say in your head, you know what, I'm gonna do this professional? When did that happen? Uh, well, the song that made me want to rap when I was a kid was Nightmares by Dane the Dane. Okay. I don't know if a lot of people know that shit, but like some old, old school shit. Okay. But as an adult, not an adult, but like when I was a teenager, I was like in 10th grade. And like, I was like, bro, when I graduate, like, I don't want to do anything besides music. So, um, you know, when I graduated, I dropped out of college. Went full fledged with music, like. But tenth grade, that was when I started like saying like, I'm gonna go to studios. I'm a, like, I'm a write. I'm gonna do this. And after I graduated, I invested in my own studio equipment. Started doing shit at the crib because I don't like paying for studio time. That shit annoying. Okay, so you engineer yourself. For the most part, yeah. Okay. And um, yeah. So that's smart. that's that's really what it is. So. Okay. So now you know we headed into the last quarter of 2022. We headed into 2023. Mm -hmm. um, got somebody important in the room with you, you that walked in which i know uh, <laughs> that person is telling you some some good information what yeah. do you have rolling out what do you have coming up end uh, of the year top of the year what you got going on so uh we just did the uh the freelance charlie project okay um we just dropped that what was it july 27th july july 27th um and we got the save fest coming up on august 27th so that's like my first headlining show uh, and it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be my first time performing the project in its entirety. And uh, yeah, like a whole lot more videos. We doing Rolling Loud in New York. Okay. We doing Austin City Limits. Um, 
working out some tour ideas and stuff like that as well. So we on the move, man. Moving for sure. Okay, how can someone follow you? Uh, everywhere. Uh, at Save Ben Riley. That's S A V E B E N R E I L L Y. Okay, and um, if someone's just seeing you for the first time, what's the message you can give them? Why didn't they stop listening to what they listening to to listen to you? Uh, if someone was to see me for the first time, stop listening to what they listening to to come listen to me. Discover you. Shit, I mean, if you like real rap shit, real authenticity, you know what I mean? If you like feeling like what you listen to give you superpowers, then I'm your, I'm your person. You know what I'm saying? So that's my shit. Good answer. For sure. Appreciate you pushing up. Hell yeah, appreciate you for having me. Wavy Pluto, you did.